Today I'm going to highlight a few capabilities and use cases of TT Strategy Studio, our software platform for developing latency sensitive automated trading strategies. Strategy Studio allows you to create strategy logic that you can use in production trading, live simulation, and backtesting. With backtesting, we support several tick database platforms and flat file formats, and you can backtest off of full depth of market data. Within Strategy Studio's Strategy Manager user interface, you can launch a strategy simply by finding a strategy that you've created in the strategy tree, right-clicking it, and launching a new backtest where you can choose which strategies participate in that backtest. And you can select a date range for which dates to run your strategy logic over. As you launch the backtest, it will query your tick database or your flat files and start streaming the results on a live basis so that you can monitor how the backtest is progressing. The software also saves all of the results of everything you run, whether it's a backtest, live simulation, or a production trade, so that you can go back in and load older runs of your strategy and compare those results to more recent back tests. Here I'm selecting several runs of the same strategy on earlier dates, loading them, and then I can find those results, pull back into the archived results node where you have the same data available for comparison. Backtests can also be launched through a strategy command line utility, which can be used to automate kicking off different variations of your backtests, for instance, running them with different settings to help find optimal values to ensure optimal strategy results. Strategy Studio has a C++ event-based API where you write a trading strategy by responding to new pieces of information that come in with the help of information that the software tracks for you. Our API can also incorporate alternative data sets for event-based trading, such as news trading or social media-based sentiment trading. What the strategy does is it listens for incoming sentiment updates and says if the sentiment is sufficiently bullish with enough activity, send out an order to buy the related symbol. If the opposite is true, send out an order to sell the related symbol. Very similarly, we have a simple news-based example strategy that has an example of using a news provider that includes content such as earnings releases, government oil inventories, unemployment reports. And in this example strategy, you can listen to that news topic and compare the release number to your expected value and compare it to your range of expected values to determine whether you'd like to send out an order to buy the symbol or sell it short. As you can see in both of these examples, whether it's on news or on sentiment, in the API we strive to make this very easy to work with, so you have a nice normalized news event message that lets you get to the numbers that you need quickly and write intuitive code. And now I'm going to show how the TT Strategy Studio trading software can be used not just for fully automated or systematic or black box trading, but also in situations where manual intervention is involved or for partially automated trading such as automated hedging. In the Strategy Manager user interface, it's possible to place a manual order, even though the interface is typically designed for monitoring systematic strategies. For many order in the orders grid, you can right click and copy an existing order to pre-populate an order entry ticket with the same order parameters, including the ability to specify custom fixed tags. And from there, you can stage that order or submit it. Orders submitted from the user interface are routed not directly to the market, but through your strategy's implementation, so that when you write a strategy, you have the opportunity to customize how manual orders are facilitated. On the API side, the strategy interface has hooks, including on external order and on external fill. On external order allows you to intercept those manual orders and uh, customize how they get sent out. The default implementation is open source and it simply looks to see if the manual order request is coming from the strategy manager interface and if so, it'll send it out and log an error if the send fails. Similarly for cancel and replace. But this can be overridden to prevent manual activity or to append fixed tags to manual activity to make sure the exchange knows that it was initiated by a trader rather than by an algo. And at TT, we use the same hook in order to implement our premium order type services where we have a strategy that listens to a fixed connection for VWAP orders or arrival price brisk orders. You can listen to fills that may have even occurred on a separate trading platform or a trade that was placed through a screen. 
and you can get notification of the fills that occurred and then write logic to automatically hedge those fills off. We also have in our API on options analytics, which lets you receive a third party Greeks and Theos, for instance, from TT's options analytics service to help aid the hedging logic. If you're interested in learning more about TT Strategy Studio, please reach out to your sales representatives.